tonight. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Chargers. will make it into the end zone. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say a great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you. Balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. It will be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. So just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Down he goes. The 49ers get there. But Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, here's Ty Long to punt for the Chargers. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The former second round pick back in 2014, Jimmy Garoppolo trotting into place, looking to guide this San Francisco 49er offense. Athletic, accurate, strong arm, knows how to make something out of nothing, and is also an excellent leader. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 38. He'll throw from the gun. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end, and that'll bring him second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. They work 
Kirk again from the 38 on second and 10. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And he was hit as he threw it there and it forces it incomplete. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game. But this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Away and incomplete. It's third down and 10 yards to go. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. And yet again, it's Garoppolo taking a shot for Samuel. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And to the 12, that's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and... Try to force it to Allen and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Brent and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get into the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. And looking to erase his memory bank from his opening drive a moment ago that ended in a pick six for the first points of the ball game. And in my experience, a lot of quarterbacks, after throwing a pick six, the first thing they want to do is fire another one and get those points back immediately. But what really helps you get back in sync is a good, long, methodical drive, mixing the run and the pass, tamp things down a little bit. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's Herbert now on second down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. 
He had no options downfield there and just chucked it out of bounds. There was no one open. He was in the pocket. Where was the intentional grounding call? Oh, you wanted the flag. Of course I did. I'm a defensive guy. You know that. Where was the flag? The officials point out that someone was in the area. He got away with one. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. Open man, it's Allen. And he'll be out right at the 35. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 16 yards, a first down. Oh, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. From inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, Herbert. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Here's Ty Long now as he's on to punt for L.A. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. He's brought down. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. 
Yeah, he just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. On second down, Mostert. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 13 yards there and a Niner first. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense. So they've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, it. I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and you give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. When you talk about the fastest running backs in the NFL, Tevin Coleman has to at least be in the conversation, and he showed off the wheels there. Wow. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And the next-gen stats show him reaching at a top speed of 20 miles an hour. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. They go back to the ground, this time Moster. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. There's Garoppolo to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Garoppolo's pass incomplete on the throwaway. Casey Hayward on the coverage. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Fair catch signaled for it and taken at about the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. L.A. set to take over again on offense and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? On second down, here's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial 
up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver, and he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Operating from the gun, Herbert. He's got a man, it's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Running on first down, Eckler. And that's going to be good for Chargers first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Here's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the ground, it's Eckler. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. The pass rush specialist, D Ford, in on the stop. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second and nine. From the gun, Herbert. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Brings up third and six. from the gun, Herbert, and they're going to get him, he's taken down for a sack, back at the 47-yard line, a loss of 10 yards, I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there, I mean, you know me, normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right, in this case, definitely, he's been on constant duress this entire game, I don't know how he's surviving back there, and to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Here's Ty Long now, as he's on to punt for L.A. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds at the run here, the 12-yard line. At their own 12-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And they've got themselves a 7-0 lead here, but that, you recall, was a defensive touchdown, so still nothing as of yet for this offense. Well, they're happy to have the lead. We've got to cut them a little bit of slack. It's still early enough, just a couple of drives so far, but if this one goes nowhere, those adjustments that we talked about, they should wait for halftime. They should go ahead and start working on them right now. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because 
as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 nothing lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The attention shifts back to Justin Herbert and the Chargers offense. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When the, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. Brings up second and four at the 47-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. the gun, Herbert. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield, and he got there and put his man on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. The Chargers on third down two for five to this point this is third down and 12. Justin Herbert looking to pass oh a ball batted in the air and now it's intercepted picked off by the former first rounder Jimmy Warner and he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it. Because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. Third down here. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's going to be about a yard or two short of the first here. He needed the 35, but didn't make it. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down 
brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, this from 53. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Chargers, nothing. Getting set to go again here on offense. Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. You would have to think they're going to make it more of a priority to get him the football. You're losing here in the second quarter, and he's been really quiet. I think all we have to do, and it's too bad we can't actually see the actual play sheet now from the coordinator, because he's looking down at that and saying, okay, do I put him in different spots? Do I try and isolate him? What routes do I run? You're exactly right. They've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick-started. He does have the two catches, but pretty quiet so far. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Obviously, this has not been a better game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Herbert has it knocked free. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Here's Ty Long now, as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. To return is Taylor. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. Now the good news, his team's winning. And the bad news, he hasn't had the game that he's hoped to, at least to this point here in the second quarter. And a lot of that is pride because these types of backs want to be in the center of all the action and leading their team to victory. They'll take the win right now, hoping to jump his game up as this one moves on. And he probably wants a little bit more of the spotlight going forward. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. A play fake from Mostert, now Garoppolo. It's coming and down he goes. Uh, CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because, remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And as we check the next-gen stats, that play lasted just 2.7 seconds from beginning to end. Just not enough time to throw the football. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. 
We'll call it a 42-yard punt, 40 on the return. At their own 36-yard line. And we spotlight Keenan Allen as he gets set to go back to work. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Something to get in the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert. And incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Chargers on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Ty Long now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Taylor now returning it. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. The throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Away and incomplete. Chris Harris on the coverage. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Garoppolo. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's taken down all the way inside the L.A. 10. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And sometimes you see big plays develop on a route like this, a slant route, and the object, very simple. Get the ball to your receiver in stride. This one was right on the money. He didn't miss a beat, and then it's off to the races, and there he goes. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, next-gen stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. Second and goal. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. His pass caught at the four. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And the lead moves to 10 zip. the one and a good effort on the return there gets him across the 30 up to the 33 at their own 33 yard line LA readies for its next possession these guys had to punt their last possession and that's become too familiar of a refrain too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere but you know how in baseball when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm a lot of times the punter goes to the sideline puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm he might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting the first play of the drive there is incomplete this defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. On second and 10, the ball back with Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's caught inside the 35. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Herbert. He's airing it out for Williams. And he's in for the Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, 32 yards. And the Chargers are able to make this a close game again. Coaches must really like to see that from the quarterback because he's had the interceptions in this game, but they're able to connect on the touchdown pass. And teammates love to see that because they know that they miss blocks during a game, but they come back and make them later on. They miss tackles, right? They miss making plays, but the spotlight is magnified on your quarterback. And when he stands up to the pressure and comes back and throws a touchdown pass after throwing some picks earlier, they feel great about that guy. And likewise for him personally, as a rookie quarterback, has to give him more confidence.
now will kick it away following the touchdown. Now James returning. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. James on the return. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 20. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going. But we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Hardney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. Here we go, here we go. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. second half. Here's James. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. On the, return. the Niners take over the first and 10. And Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. quarter starts with a run from Mostert. Three yards there to begin the third quarter. They also lead by three points. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On third down, here comes Mostert. Breaks a tackle. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. 
And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. And nice chunk of yardage picked up there. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Mike Mostert, the 49er ball carrier. The tackle by Denzel Perryman. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the Chargers 33-yard line. Seven-yard pickup. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. One more time with Mostert. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the 49ers add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game, even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. It's good to make it 17-7. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Mostert. Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And we've got a penalty marker down here as he's able to get this only to the 20-yard line. This is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. Play has 
sends him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Here is Heckler. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second and eight coming up. From the 50, here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. I know that we've seen their share of struggles, and the quarterback's been hit a few times in this game, but this one can't be put on the offensive line. They gave him plenty of time to throw the football. I think ultimately he has to be a lot more decisive in his decision-making and get rid of it and find an open target. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Nick Bosa make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When to, when to go ahead and flush from the pocket and run. When to get rid of the football and not take the sack. When to just go ahead and go down early and make sure you don't get, make sure you don't fumble the football. So many things that he has to learn. This game starts the process. Here's Ty Long now as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The Niners take over first and ten. At their own 38. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The drive starts with a handoff to McKinnon. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Goal to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. At their own 20 yard line. And now out on the field, here comes.
Rams, Los Angeles. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. If they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Now second and seven from the 23. It's Eckler again. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. the screen this is Eckler and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 that one good for 13 and a charger first let's give a little credit there the offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense and it worked very well there for a first down So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Allen has it, left side. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 45-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. It's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. Option play, and they'll give to Eckler. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. So that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They'll run here with Eckler. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, Justin Herbert. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. 
And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Draw play. It's Eckler. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and it'll be third and ten. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. The Chargers on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and 10. Out of the gun, Herbert. And he's got his man. It's Henry for the Chargers touchdown. Hunter Henry there to make the grab. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Badgley on for the extra point. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. James returning. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives, and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after him right here. I really? Put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say, <laughs> run the football, you've got the lead. But let's watch it and find out who's right. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And a five-yard game gets him to the 42. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Oh, 
So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Incomplete. Garoppolo's pass incomplete on the throwaway. Leads to second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. On play action, now Garoppolo. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. Raiders 27, Chargers 14. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. unit is out on the field and they will send this one away taking it about the one and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 at their own 22 yard line here's a los angeles offense as they get set to take possession and that last touchdown drive they had very balanced how key is that balance it's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And they're going to have a third down. Well, I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. He's airing it out for Williams. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They're down two scores and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They snap it to Herbert. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth 
quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. First down, it's Herbert. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. run good for two here's second and eight once more here's Eckler and he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15 on any running play that's called they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance but when you get a nice game like that you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third down, here's Eckler. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. 
And the lead will shrink to six. A 10-play drive that time. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. to the 25. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. And I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. So a challenge is upon us. I tell you, close game, fourth quarter. This is a huge decision. Oh, no doubt about that, partner. A lot has to be riding on this call. And you know it is a tight one because it has to be indisputable visual evidence in order to change it. Now here's the big question. Do they actually have that evidence? About to find out. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You took it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. They go back to the ground, this time Moster. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for a first. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. This is our time! Here we go. 
to throw is Garoppolo. Got his target, Samuel. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 26. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. This one about to be on ice. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it, in the fourth quarter? They had to just hold on, as you said. Furious assault on them, but they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. It's always prayer and extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it done that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're spelled in good shape, but yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.